Hey everybody, I'm Cruise Man, and today we're going to talk about the Honda Extended Warranty. Do you need it for your Goldwing, or is it just a waste of money? That's coming up right after this. Well, I bought my Goldwing almost three years ago. It's been, uh, let's see, I bought it in March, I believe, of 2018. So it's going on three years and it's time to decide whether or not I wanted to get the Honda Extended Warranty. Now, for those of you that don't know, let me talk to you a little bit about warranties and how they work. The Honda Factory Warranty is good for 36 months from the date you purchased your motorcycle and unlimited miles. They don't count the mileage. And that will cover your engine, transmission, drivetrain, and some other accessories. Now, when it comes time to for that to expire, you can purchase a Honda Extended Warranty. I believe they call it the Honda Care uh, Program uh, Protection Plus. They also offer a roadside assistance. You can purchase the motorcycle warranty with or without their roadside assistance. A lot of people purchase this Honda Care Extended Warranty uh, when they buy their motorcycle. There's really no need to do that. And the reason is because, obviously, it's a big profit center for dealers. They make a lot of money selling extended warranties. And uh, there's no reason to buy it. You have up until the day your original factory warranty expires, you've got till then to purchase the Honda Extended Warranty. Now, I would warn you about something else. I would personally avoid buying a third-party extended warranty. The only extended warranty I can recommend is the one from Honda, the Honda Care Warranty. I've heard nothing but nightmares from people who purchased third-party warranties from third-party companies. The company could go out of business. It could get sold. Uh, you may have to go to specific dealers. They may not use original uh, replacement parts. You know, it's just not worth it. If you're going to get an extended warranty, go ahead and get the one from Honda. Now, I went ahead and decided before the end of last year that I wanted to go ahead and have the extended warranty. I've had experience with Honda extended warranties in the past. On my 2007 Goldwing, at about 65,000 miles, and I believe it was about four and a half years old, my left hand control uh, just went out. It just didn't work. I can't remember the reason behind all this, but it didn't, it went out and they did something, the dealership, when they replaced it, and they did replace it under the Honda extended warranty. And if you look, at uh, Partzilla or Cycle Gear or one of these OEM uh, parts companies, you'll notice that left hand control is four or five hundred dollars. It's very expensive. But they did something at the dealership. I don't know why, but just a few weeks after I got the bike back, the right hand control went out. All the switches just stopped working. And once again, Honda replaced that right hand control unit under the extended warranty another four or five hundred dollar item. Then a few months later, my radio, actually it didn't go out. One of the switches on my, down on the fairing, the, the radio switch, I believe it was the hazard light or one of those was sticking. And rather than just replace the switch, they replaced the entire panel, that whole panel down on the left side. That was a six or seven hundred dollar piece of equipment. So I can tell you from personal experience that the Honda Extended Warranty can really pay off because some of these parts can be very expensive. So if you have a valve issue or an engine or drivetrain issue, uh, that can run into some pretty significant money. So I've had a good, I even had a front disc brake that was war the, the disc that was warped. And uh, you could tell when you came to a stop because it was really, uh, shaking the front end really bad. Turns out one of my rotors uh, was warped or bent and Honda replaced that under the extended warranty. So, you know, it, a lot of it depends on your dealership. A lot of it depends on your service manager and, uh, you know, are they good and are they reliable? But 
the Honda has always come through for me on these warranty claims. So I think it's a good investment. The other reason to get the extended warranty is it really increases the resale value of your motorcycle if you're going to sell it in the future. And unless you purchase this extended warranty during the period that you can purchase the warranty, uh, you wouldn't be able to tell a potential buyer that you have that. So I know when I went to sell my 2007, I think I still had a couple years left on the extended warranty, and it was a big selling point. Uh, if uh, on my 2012, I think I still had three or four years left extended warranty. And again, it was a big selling point to be able to tell a potential buyer, hey, this bike is still covered under the Honda, Honda factory warranty. Where do you buy the warranty? First of all, you do not have to buy the Honda extended warranty from your dealer or from the dealer where you purchased your motorcycle. You can certainly do that, but I can tell you from personal experience, most dealers have a lot of markup in these extended warranties. Now, I'm going to give you a tip that's going to save you a lot of money. You need to contact, if you're interested in a Honda extended warranty, you need to contact Carter Wood at Blue Ridge Power Sports. That's where I purchased my extended warranty. And Carter, really nice young lady, and you know she's communicated with me. I think I bought my 2012 extended warranty from Blue Ridge Power Sports. It doesn't matter where you purchase the Honda extended warranty. It's good at any Honda dealer. It goes into the Honda computer system. And when you take your bike in for service, they enter your VIN number into the computer and it will tell right there whether or not you have the extended warranty. So you'll be covered. It doesn't matter where you purchase the extended warranty. And Blue Ridge Power Sports has the best pricing that I've found on these extended warranties. And they're a good company to deal with. You can do it all over the phone. You just give Carter your credit card number and... and I, uh, Blue Ridge Power Sports is not paying me for this video. They're not a sponsor in any way, shape, or form. I paid for my extended warranty. I'm just telling you this because this is who I've used, and I think it can save you some money in the long run. Now, I'm just going to give you an example. I just received this the other day from Honda. This is the Honda Care, you know, their thing when they're trying to get you to buy an extended warranty. This comes from Honda. And you can get... Uh, 12 months, 24 months, 36 months, 48 months, or even five full years of extended warranty. Now, I opted for the 48-month plan because I'll probably be selling the bike or moving to something else before the end of four more years. Nevertheless, for four years, I'm just going to give you the price for what I purchased, which is the four-year uh, extended warranty. Honda, $1,030 for 48 months of extended warranty. And I'm not sure from this, I don't think that covers... Yeah, it does. It does include the roadside assistance. Okay, so that's $1,030, and they're only showing it here with the roadside assistance. Now, you can buy it from Blue Ridge Power Sports with or without roadside assistance. Maybe you have roadside assistance from your insurance company, or maybe you have it through AAA or one of these other services. So you may not want to pay the extra money for the Honda roadside assistance. I no longer have roadside assistance from my insurance company, so I went ahead and got the Honda Care roadside assistance, whatever, whatever they call it. I don't know the name of it. Okay. Four-year Honda extended warranty, $620 compared to $1,030. I paid $690 because for $70 more dollars, I could get four years of roadside assistance. And that, to me, was just a no-brainer. So you can get a full five years for $770 with roadside assistance. Over here... From Honda, it's $1,190. So you're going to save, and I'll put all of their pricing, and this pricing is subject to change. You know, if Honda goes up on their prices, then Blue Ridge Power Sports will have to go up on their prices as well. 
but this is as of January or December 2020, January 2021. I'll go ahead and put the pricing that she gave me on the screen. And I'll also put Carter's email address and other information in the description of this video. So if you're in the market for a Honda extended warranty, I highly recommend Blue Ridge Power Sports. So let me know in the comments down below if you have an extended warranty with Honda, if you have a third party warranty, what your experience has been with extended warranties. I've personally had good experiences, but I'd be curious to know what your thoughts are. Thanks again for watching the video today and I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Garage.